How you doing, Jason? I'm doing swell. Mm. All right. I'm doing fine in case anybody wanted to nobody know. Nobody cares. I know. Nobody ever cares. I don't care. All right. Well, we're going to hit you with a little top 24 <laughs> running backs. I was hoping for a drum roll, but you didn't give me one. Thanks, sound guy. Uh, wait a, or a horn. Wait, yeah, or a horn. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, come on. There we go. Do something around here. God bless America. <laughs> All right, so I do everything. We're gonna go through tier by tier by tier. I'm gonna give mine, then Big Deal give his, and we'll discuss, you know, maybe some differences and and uh, a few things if we're in agreement in tier. So you ready to get rolling? Let's do it. All right, it's a ballroom blitz. Let's do it. Tier one, I think we're pretty much aligned on. See, um, see, it's Bijan one, it's Brees two, and it's JT three in in a uh, in tier one for me. Um, now you could certainly put Bijan by himself, I guess, yeah. if he really wanted to. Got to. Um, I but, want to. You know, we haven't we haven't quite seen it yet. So for now, he's got. To, I think he has to stay in a tier with these guys. I mean, Jonathan Taylor was Bijan before Bijan. Uh, just had you know, we saw thought Eckler was a beast last year. Well, JT the year before scored three hundred and seventy three points, the same as Eckler did last year, and he won you a bunch of leagues. Um, so JT's a monster and how quickly we forget. Uh I guess my question with this tier is is if if Dalvin signs with the Jets, does Brees drop out of this tier for you? Cause I think he may for me. That would be a huge bummer for what do you wherever think? Dalvin goes. Big D. Um, I, I don't, I mean, I guess it would depend on Dalvin's contract. Um, I I think if it's a one year, he wouldn't, if it's more than one year, if it looks like he could tag along longer. Um, cause I, cause I'm not certain that Brees is going to start the season strong regardless. Right. So if Dalvin's there or not, um, I, I feel like Brees when he's a hundred percent can beat out Dalvin cook at Dalvin cook's current, you know, age and ability. So I'm not, I'm not too concerned about, if he yeah. signs there, I, I think he'd still because you know we're playing dynasty here, so I still think long long term, he'd still be in that that tier. But I definitely think I'd probably hop JT over him, and and, and I, I could I could see the argument to drop him down for sure. I, I don't I, I don't think I personally would, but I definitely could see why. Yeah, talent wise, of course not. Um, yeah. But it could be you know two years or at least a year and a half of like. Hey, you know, Brees isn't quite getting what you want, and, and it, it costs you a lot to get there. Uh, so, mm-hmm. Rogers clearing 35 mil of cap space today for the Jets, it seemed like, because uh, he's a swell guy. <laughs> um, so swell. <laughs> so, you know, it would, and it, Salah may be indicating that since he's kind of been there, that they're, like, he kind of may want to committee a little bit. Uh, but what we saw from Brees was great. So, uh, w- We'll play the the hypothetical a little bit. I would bump him down. Big D keeps him the same. So let's keep it moving because, um, you know, shit in one hand, wish in the other. Um, or don't <laughs> wish. Uh, definitely don't want that to happen. Uh, but there is a whole host of running backs in the AFC East that if any of it happens to, I think I drop him down a little. So uh, let's keep it moving here. Uh, second tier for me, CMC, Gibbs, and Barkley um, in the next tier. And I think you're same, right? Same, same. Yeah. Um, any any within ranking tier there? Oh yeah, it's it's that's it. You, you like, Big D put his decimals in there, so he ranked you he like ranked them in that McCaffrey, order. McCaffrey Gibbs. I'm asking him the question because there's people listening on the podcast, Jason. Well, I'm tell I'm answering it. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jason. <laughs> Jason's my hype man. Um, yeah, yeah, no, uh, yeah. CFC Gibbs Barkley, kind of in that order for me. I, I, you know, Barkley Gibbs is kind of a coin flip for me. If I'm if I'm drafting, I might take one over the other. 50% of the time, to be honest, but I'm going to take CMC 100% of the time over those two. So, um, yeah. I, I think that they're all they're all pretty close uh, from uh, from what they're going to give you the next couple. I mean, I, obviously, we're the reason why CMC is the top of that list, right? Is because of his top level points performance that I think he can. Right. His ceiling is higher than the other two, even though the other two ceiling is pretty high. So, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I think Barkley just re, coming back and and getting him with the team and being there off the jump really reassures you here. Um, mm-hmm. So that that makes you, me feel a whole lot more comfortable with with those three being in in those tiers. I think Jacobs could potentially climb up into this tier for me, um, but for right now I'm I'm going CMC Gibbs Barkley as well. So uh, that's tier two. Uh, let's get into tier three here. 
All right, so like I alluded to, Jacob's at the top of this next tier, kicking this one off for me. Uh, and then Eckler and Najee. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for, for Najee in this tier. How, how could you? How dare you? Don't you know his efficiency metrics? Um, and we Warren do. is, Warren we, is we coming do. and taking that job. That's not <laughs> yeah. true, though. So why? Uh, what, what do you got, Big D? I'm, I've got really similar to you. I think it's actually just the opposite. I'm, I'm Eckler's at the top. Najee's um, in the middle and... and Jacobs is at the end. Um, I I think Eckler. <clears throat> I know Eckler and Jacobs have some contract issues, but I, I feel a little bit more hesitant with uh, with Jacobs' situation, not just with the franchise in this year, but also just with Vegas in general. I, I'm just I have a, I have a little pause, and so that's why for me he's he's down a tad. Um, or those other two are just yeah a little bit more locked into what I feel like I can see in the future. Gotcha. So, yeah, but we all still like Jacobs. I, like I said, I, I could bump possibly Jacobs up if I if things were if I was feeling a little bit better about the situation for Jacobs um, and, and the Raiders. Good. Good point there. Um, Eckler pretty set it and forget it. The Cooper Cup of running backs. Right. I mean, we're no, mm -hmm. I don't think we're really concerned about is is age. You know, I, I'm. If you, if you don't want to draft him there because you're not feeling an older running back, you know, you can you can skip that. Um, but then Najee uh, for me, I just. Once we get down to the next couple of running backs, he's he's younger than Chubb, and he's probably the only one who's going to see a workload that I can trust, kind of like Chubb. Um, and I know I I think that Najee is a good player. I've seen Najee be a good player. I've seen him be plenty fantasy relevant. And I think everything trending up for the Steelers. I know nobody likes Kenny Pickett, mm -hmm. but the offensive line is better. Kenny played better at the end of the season. And look. Uh, I like Jalen Warren just fine. It's no shade on Jalen Warren. Draft Jalen Warren um, in right. the later rounds. Um, but, you know, Najee was hurt coming in to the season, and he still outcarried Jalen Warren by a mile the entire season. Like, if there was something, and even at the end of the season when Warren was quote-unquote coming on, Najee was getting a shit pile of carries in the games that, that Warren uh, got some, some pretty... Uh, decent carries in um, and yeah maybe he was better in a game or two but Najee was good in some of those games uh, as well so I think the receptions can go up for Najee a little bit I think everything can go up from Najee and even if he gets throttled back a hair on touches which he may and that's okay that's still okay he's still going to be in the top you know threshold of of attempts for a running back and and on the field uh, is he going to break huge runs no but he's going to do a bunch of the other stuff in between um, and I think he's a good player and the Steelers are, are a team that has shown me time and time again that they're, you know, old school mentality of, of we, we drafted this guy. We like him um, again through through being hurt. He was still out there, um, not nearly as effective. And I think this season we're going to see uh, a nice another nice season from from Najee. So, yeah, I mean, I think that's the key just to just to kind of put the cherry on top as as everything that you just said. And then just this was was a 16th year 17th year of Tomlin and right. how they use the running back there it hasn't changed right? right like I mean and I think he's efficient enough to 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 be the the lead dog and in that offense there's a lead dog and so uh, that that's kind of why he's there you I, I always look at him as a really solid number two running back with with number one upside right like right. he's 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 great on that those type of builds he's also great as a as a number one um, running back when you when you've gone wide receiver and quarterback heavy and super flex that kind of thing so so to me he's just a really safe uh, floor guy with a decent ceiling yeah I I, I maybe I, not a vaulted ceiling you know sure but sure. He's, he's got a decent ceiling and that ceiling's got a ceiling fan a, a, a nice one you know <laughs> for sure so, it's right. not the builder grade right um, right yeah all right let's uh let's keep it moving let's hit the next tier uh, we'll go to tier four here. We got Chubb, Stevenson, E.T., Walker, and Pollard for me in this tier. What's your tier like here? Uh, very similar. Um, the, only, the only difference is um, I've swapped out Pollard for Sanders, of course. But Woo! it goes Stevenson, Chubb, E.T., uh, Kenny Three Sticks, and going to see you in a mile, Sanders. Why miles in there? Kind of similar to Najee, I think his contracts yeah. worked out. That offense is, he, you know, if you look at the offense, he's he's kind of the, to me, he's the glaring bright spot, I guess, in the sense of like a veteran presence and what they can lean on. Why Bryce is learning, Bryce Young is learning the offense and mm -hmm. learning learning the path, and and so for me, he's just a, a again a really really solid floor player 
with the potential of of some you know some maybe not again maybe not vaulted ceilings but but a really decent uh ceiling fan with a remote i mean it's <laughs> yeah. you know we're talking we're talking good stuff and that, and that's kind of why i have him over pollard um pollard's down just a tier for me and we could talk about him in a moment but but um it, it, the only reason is i just think his long-term outlook looks great pollard probably has the higher ceiling this year um but but i think from a higher two-year three-year factor it's it's standards for me all right i got chubb in here and I, you know i think if, if you're feeling a little more uh adventurous Chubby. and you're going for a little bit more of a, a higher end like maybe, maybe you took eckler and you're going win now I, if you wanted to take chubb i think chubb you know could be in the tier up from this one from what he's mm-hmm. going to do from a from a you know points per game standpoint and you know we don't know. We think that there could be some more receiving upside to be had here with Chubb, which has always been a slight bugaboo, but the guy's always just a stud, even without it. Um, I think this offense takes another step forward with Deshaun getting more comfortable in there, and they've just got a really nice – they got a super deep receiving core, whether it's super sexy or not. I think they've got you know, all sorts of different guys who can do different things um, and a good O-line. Um, so – uh, I think I think Chubb could move up, but Chubb is in this in this category for me. And now again, just like Eckler, if you're feeling like you're want to be on the younger, hey, we're gonna we're gonna do the productive struggle kind of deal or go wide receiver heavy, then that's not your guy. Um, but sure, you know you can move him down. Stevenson is kind of like the Brees. Uh, if Dalvin comes in, I've been a I've been campaigning for Stevenson, but you know I think I'd have to knock you know Stevenson down a, a tier here if Dalvin comes in. You just you know. I think Stevenson can do it. I think, yeah. um, you know, now they're even talking about Ty Montgomery moving to wide receiver because we know the wide receiver depth isn't great in um, in New England. Little bonus uh, free guy that you could pick up, Malik Cunningham, right now uh, for mm-hmm. the uh, New England Patriots. Been a, been a favorite of mine this offseason. Um, and then Walker, you know, we, we obviously know Charbonnet's there, but I still love the explosiveness, uh, still down to take him. But again, you got to settle into that. He's an RB2 with, you know, the the highlight and, and, and big playability of RB1 weeks. Um, and then yeah. Pollard rounding this one out for me. Uh, E.T. in there as well. Um, you know, I, I, I got E.T. down maybe a tier. Uh, you know, it's, it's clear that they don't want to give – him as much work i don't think it's going to maybe be quite as the timeshare that walker and sharps have uh but you know et uh definitely i think feels like he needs to be down in this this tier for me because of a timeshare um but i I would take him over walker uh and then pollard like you said i think there's plenty of upside here i've been thinking that the dallas cowboys are going to up with another running back on their on their depth chart i don't think that you know all of a sudden that pollard's just going to get this crazy amount of carries like all of the Zeke carries are now going to Pollard plus what Pollard got last year I think they'll if they don't there'll be a rotation of Deuce Malik and and you know and maybe there, there's a they got a fullback on this team whose name's eluding me who's a rookie which maybe he could be kind of their short yardage use check kind of guy in mm-hmm. there and, and do some different things with but still like Pollard a good bit uh to be in this tier for for a year or two and, and we don't know what's going to happen next year with the Cowboys if things go well maybe Pollard's back or maybe the whole thing's blown up maybe Dak and McCarthy are out of there for the Cowboys <laughs> and they're just right. you know they're blowing the whole thing up so uh but again could be a really good O-line with the Cowboys but you know where, where Zach Martin's holding out, uh, you know, Steele's still injured. Uh, the, Our the, pets' heads are falling the, off. The left tackle, whose name's <laughs> eluding me right now, um, has missed a ton of time, um, and he, he can't quite be right. So this could be a really good line or a mediocre line. So um, that Smith, Trent Smith, somewhere. Uh, I'll, I'll, it'll come to me. Um, let's let's keep it moving here. I got I got one guy in my next tier, tier five here, and I got Javante in this tier by himself. Um, I think without an injury, he could be up in the in the Jacobs Tyler Tyron Tyron Smith Tyron Smith. He could be up in the Jacobs Najee area potentially, uh, Javante that is. But right now, I'm putting him kind of by himself. We're calling that the Yolo tier right there. Uh, <laughs> you know, kind of do what you want there. Proceed with caution. We know that there's some fun upside, and it does seem like the Broncos, you know, feel pretty good about where, whereas Brees is kind of going an opposite direction where uh, Javante may be trending in a little bit different direction. And those wheels could fall off before trading camps even over because we have a couple of 
other things that Javante picks up with, you know, through a padded practice or whatever. Uh, we just don't know. But, uh, you know, P. Ryan's a favorite of mine a little later. We're not going to get to him in this show. But, uh, you know, Javante in a tier by himself here. So what's your tier five look like? Yeah, my tier five, uh, five includes Pollard, like we talked about. And then it's uh, Mixon, Dobbins, and Sharbs. Charbonnet, uh, pretty high on, Ooh, on Sharb there. Yeah. I, I think that nice when we talk about... Um, <laughs> When we talk about the Seahawks offense and we talk about what they've been trying to do the last couple of years, especially since Shane uh, Waldron has showed up, um, I, I think that they can support two running back twos. Uh, you know, t- t- was that 13 through 24? I always say running back two, and I think it confuses people. So yeah. I'm trying to say rankings wise. But, you know, I think um, as we talked about, is, as long as Kenny Three Sticks is is got that big playability, I think he could be the higher of those running back twos. But I still think Sharp's going to get enough work, and especially if he gets around that goal line where he he has the ability to kind of kind of have some you know um, standalone value. But also, obviously, if if something happens to Three Sticks, he's he's the man in charge, right? And vice versa with Kenny. Like either one of them goes down for uh, any given time. All of a sudden, you've got an RB one on your hands, in my opinion, and so that's kind of why I have them have him up as high as I do. Um, I I just want to touch on Javante. I I think he should be in this tier. I I just am so um, uncertain. Scared. Yeah, I'm just you're so scared. uncertain with with his, scared, his knee situation and what that offense is going to look like under Sean Payton. I mean, I I know that. You know, we, we, we have a track record of Peyton's offenses, but I, I just I'm still a little hesitant. Now, the news came out today um, that uh, he's he's cleared for contact, which I was actually kind of really surprised with. Uh, so that that makes me even more so feel like I need to bump him up into this tier. Um, but I'm with you. I think, you know, prior to the knee injury, he was probably going in that tier three tier yeah. two territory round so he two, could definitely round three. So yeah, yeah six one yeah. in the adp right now right he's so. six one yeah and i think that prior to he was probably around like you said round three round four which is right in that two tier two tier three territory for us so all right um so like i said i i had that as a kind of a tier by itself if, if on the sh- on my own sheet i have it as four and a half a kind of a a cheater half tier there um and then i mm-hmm. would i would put the next tier as five but for these purposes i put that at five so my tier six is sanders pierce mixon and jk dobbins um and and i'll start off with jk he's slipping a little bit um because I, again just like you're talking about javante I don't know what the hell is going on with like I, I had extreme confidence. I've been drafting the hell out of him in these mocks. I, I got, I'm just, I'm just a little scared of J.K. Dobbins right now. Not, not at camp. Mm. I, I, I thought I smelled and saw a little, uh, a little t- talk of a another cleanup for J.K. Um, he's a great player, and I and I really like him. So he he would probably be kind of leading this tier off for me, um, but. Uh, or maybe even up a tier because I, I think he's that good. And I think the Ravens offense is going to be really fun this year. Um, but uh, so a so little concerned about JK there and, and he could easily slip down a few tiers if things don't kind of start shaping up a little bit here, but uh, great talent, but a little scared Sanders for the reasons that you meant familiar with, with uh, Deuce Staley there. I, I like everything. I got Pierce in there because that's my dog. I saw enough from him. I think he's going to lead that backfield and be a, you know, the man, the main man, 70, 30 between him and, and, uh, Singletary there. Uh, and then mm-hmm. Mixon, uh, just getting the reassurance with a, with a, a kind of a say, I want to stick around here. Uh, although I don't love his knucklehead like antics, uh, you know, <laughs> I, he's going to score. The law, <laughs> right. And if you could get two or three more years out of Mixon, uh, and we we know he can he can produce at a pretty high clip. Uh, so and he's on a good offense at least for the time being. So uh, Joe Mixon in, in rounding out that tier for me. How about how about you here? Yeah, for me, tier six goes uh, Pierce at the top. That's mostly for you. Um, but, <laughs> for my uh, pleasure. But, yeah, exactly. We, we talked about Javante Williams. Um, I, I I kind of feel like he's maybe a little too low for me now. But but to move on, so we're gonna go Pierce, Javante, David Montgomery. Alvin Kamara and Aaron Jones is this tier. That, that's what rounds out this tier for me. Um, I, I think all the things that you you kind of stated with um, 
with Dobbins is kind of where Kamara is in 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 my mind. Um, I you know who who knows you know obviously we got a, some kind of suspension looming. The offense is going to be something. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's going to be something. And and Kamara I think is going to play a pretty good, pretty pretty decent role in that. But I wouldn't be surprised if he scores the same as David Montgomery uh, this this coming year. Um, I know that's just insane thoughts in, in our world with Gibbs there and get, you know, cause Gibbs going to get 99.9% of all carries, but um, sarcasm folks. <laughs> um, but, but Mon- Monty is, is uh, dude's a league winner. He's proven it in the past. I, I think that he fits what they're trying to do there in Detroit. And so I'm pretty, pretty bullish on him as you could tell by the rankings. I think that he's, he's set up to have a really, uh, really solid uh, RB to, to, you know, um, I, I'll just say RB2 season. I, uh, not our, overall, again, <laughs> RB2 right. ranking season, you know, 13 through 24. Top somewhere 24. I, yeah. Top 24 ranking. Thank you. Um, I, I think he can he can definitely hit that mark. And and uh, and Aaron Jones is kind of in that same pole park. I think he's been kind of the forgotten man, but the dude's going to produce this year. And, and um, I believe he's under contract for two years. I think that's what that's kind of why I put him in this is I, I, I know he's going to be there this year, obviously, and I pretty certain he's going to be there next year. Um, and so from a production standpoint, if I can get two really solid years out of my running backs, I'm, I'm happy coming out of a, and, and for us, the FFD ADP is, is, uh, our, our man's on the bells and whistles over there is doing, doing us great work. Um, he's, um, Aaron Jones is nine. I think he's in the ninth round. Yeah. Nine one. So yeah. So for production, production wise get him in the ninth I, i'm feeling great about it so yeah yeah all right well we'll take it to the next tier then uh because I, I have some of those guys in my next tier as well um uh-huh. tier seven for me is uh derrick henry aaron jones uh acres and Chabonnet. um so you know we're getting spicy and mixed up you had some spicy ones in that last one i like it um mm-hmm. I got Henry here because you know probably going to produce. Where 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 does the where does it stop? Where do, where does it end? Um, <laughs> you know I'll I'll, I'll take right. Henry here and then Aaron Jones for a lot of the reasons you just stated. You know th- this tier is kind of like guys who I still have some faith in who can who can win me some games, win me some weeks, um, and you know next year might be a little TBD outside of Sharbs uh, for me. Acres just seems like just such a nice value here where you know he he. He should be top dog, get top billing. I think I think Rams offense uh, is going to be fine. It's the defense that we're going to have to worry about a little bit. Um, and you know, like Aaron Jones, l- love that nine one, like you said. Uh, and then Charbonnet, uh, just you know, a favorite of ours in 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 the rookie uh, kind of world. And it was unfortunate where the landing spot was, or he'd be a lot higher, but you know, I'll, I got no problem at that point with the youth and the way the Seahawks run their shit. And, you know, you never know with injuries. Uh, and I, I still think he's got plenty of chance to be an RB two, like you stated, uh, so well before. So, uh, how about your next tier? Who you got? Yeah. Tier seven for me is all about hopes and dreams. And, and, you know, we got the old, Old guard holding it down, Derrick Henry at the top with A Chain, Cook, Madison. It's a little larger. Um, I got Gibson in there, James Conner, and Kendra Miller. Um, so it's it's a larger tier, but but for the most part, that top half and, and what, when we're talking top twenty four, you know, Henry, A Chain, Cook um, is kind of where I would, if I had to put a cut point to, that's probably where I would put a cut point to in my my tier seven and. And it's just, it's all about opportunity. Obviously the unfortunate news with Heinz and his accident on the, on the jet skis there kind of, I, I feel like that p- points in a up arrow, unfortunately for James Cook, right. Um, from a touch perspective and from, from some things like that. And then a chain is just the mystery on, on the, on the cheetah squad, on the speed squad, man. I just, I, I, I love the, the thought process when I go through that offense and I see, a chain's name in that offense i just i feel like he is just an awesome flex play um and so that's that's kind of why i have him at the top half of this tier gotcha um all right well let's keep it moving Uh, like i have one more guy would get us to 24 but i'll I'll throw the next kind of tier out there just just because um i got kamara mine's a little bit bigger on this one so i got kamara a chain cook kendra 
Rashad White, uh, honorable mentions, Montgomery, James Conner, and Madison. They didn't make the tier quite, but uh, I like, uh, like all those guys. Uh, and DeAndre Swift, uh, you know, been shoving him down a little bit, but, you know, a lot of fun. Some of those guys are more trade-for guys. Uh, but Alvin Kamara could easily be up in that in that Cam Akers kind of like, hey, we know what we're getting here. We got opportunity. We don't know what's going to happen with the suspension. And, and the offense is kind of like, you know, it used to be – something that you really wanted to be in and now like you said it's going to be something uh you know i don't, I don't know what it's going to be um yeah. but you know and then some hopes and dreams in a chain some hopes and dreams in cook you know you got Hines, who may have taken a little bit from cook unfortunately you don't like to you know i never wish any ill will on anybody but cook's kind of in there because of what could be and then kendra hopes and dreams loved kendra same a little behind charbonnet but uh right there same kind of rationale um, and then Rashad White rounding this tier out for me. Um, I don't love Rashad White, but I think the opportunity this year and the fantasy points are going to be good. So I think there's some turn and burn opportunity if you want or if things are going well, uh, hang on to him. Uh, but that's that's going to round out my tier. So I, that's 28 guys, I think. So whew, bonus on that one. What? Yeah, Big got? D's no, no, Big D yeah. can't do anymore. He's already passed yeah, 24. I'm, I All did right. it. So if you want to hear more, though, yes, I, I, know, I know where you can. Yeah, where's that at, Jay? Patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty. Yeah, so we did a much longer version of this over there, did some more talking, and, and then we'll continue to do more of these and update our rankings over on, on the FFD ADP or on the FFD Discord. Um, or <laughs> Jesus Christ. You get access you to that. FFD <laughs> ADP and Discord. Yes. Rankings are in the in the works. Yeah, and we're gonna be talking through uh, the next twenty-five to fifty uh, over on the Patreons. Uh, and those will be then available through the Discord and the Patreon to look at, um, and we'll be updating those throughout the season. And we're, we got quarterbacks and tight ends and, and wide receivers all coming up. Uh, but, uh, you know, just wanted yeah. to throw out a top 24 for uh, most of the positions here. Um, and then we're going to, like I said, longer forms on the Patreon and then more on the Patreon on the back half of that. Um, somewhere around there in, you know, Tier six through tier seven is, uh, you know, when I about stop looking at kind of running backs outside of, you know, some of those ones in tier six. Uh, yeah. That's why you're going wide receiver heavy a little bit. And we definitely uh, dive into more that, right? of that. Yeah. Specifics over on the, the show we already recorded on the Patreon. Appreciate y'all for joining us. Hit that like, subscribe button. Leave us a comment. Let us know where you disagreed with us in our rankings or if you liked it. I always love some love. Uh, appreciate y'all for joining us if you're on the podcast and you don't want to join the five dollar holler or go over to youtube the best uh, least you could do is go over and hit five stars just tap it on the review you don't have to write anything just spotify itunes tap those five stars help your boys out we appreciate y'all and we'll be back next time for your pleasure peace